So this is a video on the condition of the Amico polymer clay craft oven. Here's what the knobs. Nothing broken off or missing. Everything's there. This is the glass oven door. Has no scratches or dings or any missing springs or anything. And the oven door comes fully down. The oven door is actually attached to the oven grid here. So it isn't exactly springed, but it is, it won't come, it won't just fall down or anything. But I do not suggest that you just kind of let it fall. You do want to make sure this is, you know, stays in working condition. Okay. I'm going to turn it all the way around to give you a 360 degree view. And this is the side, right here, are the side vents to release hot air from the inside of the oven. And this is the oven cord, it's a three prong, it's quite long, I had to um, wrap it back up so you can actually get a view of it. And it is actually in really hard rubber, so it won't break or anything. And this right here is so you won't, the oven won't be close to the wall. So it'll keep the wall from catching a fire or causing a fire or anything like that. And this is the back. And there are also vents on the back, so you don't have to worry about having the back being too hot either. And there is a second little notch here in the back to also prevent fire. So there are two so you don't have to worry about only having one side because there are some ovens with only like one notch on the back. I don't understand that method but that's the way it's made. I'm going to show you the other side. Just get this for one second. And the other side also has vents. So it's pretty, the, both, the whole oven really is vented. <laughs> so that's a good thing. Because you don't want to have too much hot air around your clay because that can cause it to burn and bad fumes and whatever else. And if you work with polymer clay, you already know it's ahead of time, so. Also, I want to show you the bottom. This is the bottom. You see little knobs that sit on any surface. You won't scratch the bottom or the bottom won't touch anything and catch fire. It is hard plastic. And there also are vents on the bottom too. And this is the cord. It comes from the bottom. So you know it has to be enwrapped in a really hard plastic. And the bottom opens in this oven. And this is really good so you don't have to continue using because I know some people use toaster ovens and 
fumes can come out of those ovens and cause, you know, pretty bad damage. And it comes fully down, all the way down. So this is good when you get any crumbs in the bottom, you need to clean it out real quick. You can even move this grid out the top, actually, when you pull it forward. Because there are little slips right there that hold it. Right here. On both sides. And this is one of the little um, beams that can, that uh, heats up the oven. And there's one at the top right there. The dotted little grid there going across. Yep. Those are the heating ones and it pops right back in so you don't have to worry about it breaking or anything. But yeah, uh, some people use toaster ovens and I suggest you use this because it's actually made for clay baking so you don't have to worry about any fumes or having it burn out anytime soon. Get it close so you can hear it. And that ticking sound is actually the timer, so just so you don't know. The light is on and now it is all now off. So thank you for watching my video and good luck bidding or congratulations for buying. Thank you.